What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video for you guys. Another cold video that is. I believe it's like 44, 45 degrees outside with even lower with the wind chill. So that means I'm gonna try to do this and get on back inside as quickly as possible. <sighs> Peggy, trying to make you faster. As y'all can see by the title and thumbnail of this video, I am gonna be unboxing and trying to install a part on Pegasus real quickly and trying to get her up to the 500 horsepower club. This should put me there. It should be a pretty simple, quick install. So uh, let me just go ahead and grab the boxes and go ahead and start unboxing these things. All right, so as you can see, I've already cut them open just because I wanted to check them because I bought both of these used. I mean, spending less than 50% of the total new price, I think that's pretty solid for these parts just because you don't really have wear and tear on them, especially if they weren't used very heavily on a heavily modified car. But uh, yeah, look at it, this. This is what I bought. Look at this. Look at this. That's the thing right there. I got an AccuFab single blade throttle body. And just to let you know that it's the plenum in the other box. But yeah, I need to go ahead and install this. This should put me in the 500 horsepower club. I have heard both sides of the story. Like you need a, a ported Eden or better for 500 horsepower and as well as a great upper and lower pulley combo. But I've also talked to some people who have a similar setup to mine and they've made a little over 500 horsepower. I just don't know which side of the spectrum I'm gonna be on. And here's the plenum. And they're both polished, which I don't really like the polished look. I would rather just a black all over look, but eh, I guess it'll work. All right, so it shouldn't be too hard for me to take all of this off. All I need to do is take off the intake on up to the plenum. And like I said, it shouldn't be too hard. I just don't have any experience with taking off the throttle cable and cruise control cable. So uh, I don't know how long that's going to take me to figure out. But all this other stuff is just un like taking off these uh, different sensors and unscrewing these screws and bolts and things. That won't take very long. So let me get started with that. <laughs> Look at this man. I'm gonna be getting slapped around by ZR1s all weekend. Ooh, I can't break this. Not without breaking my hand in this cold. You can buy them polished or the guy pot had They only come polished. Oh, okay. I don't like that though. Dude, you might need to color that little eating. You might need to paint that little eating. All right, so I didn't have a factory gasket just because I tore it all off and things, but I did put some red RTV on here, and I think that should do about the same thing. I just put a little bead around, and then once I connect it to right here, everything should be all sealed up. But what I did notice is I do have some oil inside of the supercharger and I believe that's coming from the heads or whatever. So I'm just gonna, long story short, I'm gonna have to get a driver's side and a passenger side oil catch can. Then my oil problem should be fixed. But let me go ahead and install this back all together and then hopefully I can get a startup. But if not, then I'll just let you know. 